there's like always a deeper level underneath why people click. And what makes something good is something that delivers on that reason why somebody clicks. I think another thing that makes something good is not only does it deliver on that promise and speaks to that humanity, but it also is something that just keeps me entertained or keeps me going throughout. You're listening to Content Logistics. What I wrote down for what you're saying too is that the network uh, approach lends itself to, or this idea of like speaking to many people. It turns out there's like a lot of decision makers in B2B, right? You can't just speak to one person. Like it's gonna be multiple people that you have to appeal to. So that was one thing I wanted to like throw out there. I'm editing this article. I've edited the same article probably five different times for five different companies. We're talking about customer journey mapping, right? And this is something, it is relevant to what we're talking about here because one of the points that we brought up, and I've never actually seen this before in this exact article that we've, I think we've all written it at least once, where it's, somebody's gonna be introduced to your brand for the first time, right? Somebody's gonna be introduced to your show for the first time. Somebody's gonna be introduced to you for the first time. And the question is, is what impression do you want to make for that? particular person. Thanks for listening to Content Logistics. This episode is produced by Motion, a done-for-you B2B podcasting agency for busy marketers. If you liked what you heard, please follow the show on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.